You're watching the Hawaii Real Estate Report. This week, our guest is Abe Lee of Abe Lee Realty, and we're discussing small property development. Uh, Abe, uh, can you discuss about the other types of uh, residential zoning, R7.5? Sure. Well, we talked about R5 just a few minutes ago, where you need to have so many square feet to build a duplex or two families, two detached homes. In R7.5 zone land, their square footage is different, and it's 14,000 square feet minimum to build a duplex which is really you know, quite a large uh, number of square feet. And then if you want to build two detached homes, then you need 15,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. So in R5, we needed 7,500 square feet to do a duplex, but in R7.5, we need 14,000 square feet, right. which is a really big difference. Right. And then to build two homes detached, in R5, you need 10,000, and in R7.5, you need 20, uh, 15,000. So you, if you don't have those square footages, you can't build a second house. And it's not a, it doesn't seem to make um, mathematical sense. It doesn't. And I, I believe that the bigger the lot, the tougher they're going to make it to have a duplex. I see. And that's why you got 14,000, which is quite a bit you know, larger mm -hmm. than, percentage-wise, right. than the 5,000 to 7,500. Right. Yeah. So are you able to build, what about the larger, uh, larger zone, the zonings of R10, right. R20? Well, in R10 and R20, the land use ordinance, which is the zoning uh, Bible of Honolulu, says that you cannot do a duplex in R10 and R20. And I'm going, why not? Well, I don't know why not. It, it just, just says you can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so people ask me why. I go, hey, you know, it just the book says so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But in R10, you can only build two homes, but uh, no duplex. They have to be detached. But then you need double the minimum land area, which is 20,000 square feet in R10. In R20, you need 40,000 square feet. So the bigger the zoning lot, the tougher it is to get homes that are you know, close to each other like a duplex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, let's say going back to the R5, 5,000 square feet, you mentioned minimum lot sizes, but what happens if in an R5 zoned area someone only has 4,000 square feet? Is okay. there any advantages, disadvantages on that? Or? Well, what happened to those lots is what we call remnant pieces. And sometime 50, 60, 70 years ago, what happened was they de developed the properties and there was a little piece that was left over. And the developers didn't know what to do with it, mm. so th they divided it into a small lot. Mm. Those are what we call substandard lots, uh, lots. And we have one in, lots of in Manoa, in fact. My neighbor had a lot like that, where it was our 7.5 zone land, and my lot was 14,000 square feet. But the lot next door was only 3,500 square feet. 3,500 right, square Yeah. The minimum lot size R7.5. Okay. Wow. So it's a 7,500 square foot lot. It's a remnant piece. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and if that house burns down, some people think because it's a substandard lot, they can't rebuild. And the truth is, the city must allow you to rebuild on any given lot as long as it is a legal lot of record. So even though it's substandard, they have to let you build. I have a funny story. This lady came to me on an open house one day. And she goes, oh, you know, my lot is really small. This is in Manoa. And I said, what's your zoning? She goes, she don't know. But in my neighborhood, so I figured it's 7.5 like mine. And she said, my house is so small. I'm sorry, my lot is small and I have a house. And every night I pray that it doesn't burn. I said, why? Because she said, my realtor told me that I cannot uh, rebuild. I said, that's not true. You can rebuild. So I told her, go pray for something else, but not for a fire. <laughs> you know? So I gave her the number of the uh, Department of uh, Land Use, DLU back then, Department of Land Utilization. I said, here's the number, call, call them up, and let me know if I'm not telling the truth. She never called me back. So I imagine she prayed for other things, but not for no fire. <laughs> and so we get different information or misinformation from people, right. and they mean well, but it's wrong. Mm -hmm. So if it does burn down and you have the substandard lot, mm -hmm. um, you would have to build according to current the, code. the current code. Right. So your footprint might be smaller. Correct. You can allow, they allow you 50% lot coverage on the building. Oh. So if you have a 7,000 square foot lot, you can build a 3,500 square foot home under the roof, first floor. Then you can go two stories and you can actually double it as long as you have the right setbacks. So setbacks govern what you can or cannot build as well as a 50% lot coverage. I guess that's better than nothing then. Oh yeah, you bet. Yeah. yeah. So there's tiny little lots, like 1,500 or 2,000 square foot lots in Liliha, Palama, Kalihi. You can build a house. It's just going to be really skinny. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right. And parking underneath and second floor living. Small house, but at least you can use a lot. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, 
We'll be back after these messages and keep discussing.